Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today we're taking a look at one of the older CS collections, being the Bank Collection. And, uh, yeah, first off we have the SG-553 Army Sheen. And, uh, if you guys didn't know, Army Sheen is basically a camo skin that for some reason has a sheen that makes it look almost like a toy gun. Difference is, uh, first off, that already looks horrible. On the weapons it's on, where it's a full skin, it looks horrible. But on the SG-553, on all the SG-553 skins, almost all of them remain untextured on the front, back, and bottom, and even the scope, and this one is no exception. For some reason, this is completely fucking untextured, and the part that is textured looks significantly worse than stock. So I will definitely be putting this, to begin, right at the furthest bottom part of the F tier. Like, I want to drag this off of the screen, it's just horrible. Yeah. Uh, next up we have the Negev Army Sheen, which, same thing, it's an unfinished skin, the part that is finished looks worse than stock, looks a bit better than the SG because it covers a bit more of the weapon, but that's all I'm going to give it credit for, it is a horrible looking skin, Hefter, don't get it, <laughs> that wasn't clear, uh, Forest DD Pat, on the other hand, has the basic kind of pixelated DD Pat feel, it's almost like a pixelated camo, and it has the same color scheme of like a camo skin, and they recolor the stock from orange to green, which is a kind of a cool touch. Other than that, I can't give it much more credit, though. Basically almost looks like a camo skin, especially from a distance. So that's a D tier. I don't like camo skins very much. Next up, we have the MP7 Forest DD Pat, which is virtually identical. It's just a, it's a recoloring of basically a camo skin in DD Pat style. I don't like it very much. I actually think the sawed-off looked a bit cleaner, in my opinion, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's it for the Forest DD Pad. Then the Urban DD Pad on the Tech 9 looks uh, virtually identical, but it's black and white instead, which is a much cooler looking color scheme. So I'll give it credit where credit's due, and I'll put it at the top of D tier. Alright, there you go. Still not really that particularly nice looking. Maybe it's bottom of C tier if you really squint. But otherwise, this just doesn't look that good. It looks like a standard camo skin. And then we have a very unique skin. This is a skin that was added post like bank collection barely dropped that much um that's the r8 revolver bone mask and there are a handful of these in souvenir form too which is kind of cool but other than that other than just being known as like a weird skin because it was added to the collection after the collection was out which is pretty much unheard of even today um just looks bad <laughs> it looks like a camo skin but worse somehow I would debatably use stock over this, but I'll put it at the bottom of D tier because I guess it's a bit nicer than stock. That's about all I can give it credit for. Anyway, next up is the Glock 18 Death Rattle, which actually looks kind of nice. It's like a snake skin applied to a Glock. Uh, unfortunately, it's a sand snake, but other than that, it's, it's kind of clean. I wouldn't mind having one. I'll put it in a C tier. Uh, then we have the G3SG1 Green Apple. Which, yeah, it's like the like the candy apple if it wasn't applied to the parts of the weapon that mattered. But it does do what the candy apple does, where it replaces stock with this nice black finish that is basically unscratched. And I do just like how the green apple generally is kind of just not scratched that much. Uh, there's a couple actually here because it's an older green apple, but yeah, it's just it's just kind of a clean uh, a clean black and dark green finish. Not particularly nice. I think the light red goes a lot further. I can't say it's horrible. I'll put it in the top of the E tier. I think it's better than all those DD pads and whatever. Anyway, next up we have the Nova Cage Steel. Which, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. It's like a steel version of the Nova. And then they just added all these random black lines, I guess. Black kind of segregating lines to separate them into ovals. I don't know what the point of that was, but I think if this was just the Nova Steel, and it was just a steel finish, it would actually look kind of clean. But with this random black kind of design in the back, it doesn't look good. Uh, it looks significantly worse than the, the Green Apple, which I guess I'll move to the bottom of D tier. Keep in mind, that's the bottom of D tier. It's nowhere near as good as the Glock 18 Snake Camo or whatever. But it's just so much better than everything down in D tier that I can't justify putting it down there. And I think this looks worse than the Urban Camo. So yeah, second spot in D tier, that's where this thing goes. Uh, next up we have the UMP Carbon Fiber, which sucks because it's only half of a skin. 
the back here, the bottom here, uh, and the front are untextured. And even parts of the middle of the weapon are untextured. That being said, the carbon fiber looks kind of clean. I really like how it looks. But because only half the weapon is textured, it looks like stock. Uh, and for that reason, it's really bad D tier. Because it might... Actually, it's an F tier. It basically just used stock. It looks like stock. <laughs> I don't know why I recommended that anyone would even consider spending money on this. It looks like stock. Don't buy it. Anyway, then we have the MAC-10 Silver, which, yeah, it's a silver finish, silver box for the MAC-10. Looks kind of nice. There's no scratches. Kind of clean on that regard. Uh, other than scratches on the default part of the weapon, because this is an unfinished skin. But from the unfinished skins we've seen so far, it's definitely the highlight. So for that, it gets put at the top of D tier. But that's all I can do for it. Then we have the CZ Auto Tuxedo, which is clean, dude. This is the type of skin I want. It's just a nice black and white finish. Very clean, no scratches. It's beautiful. This is the type of stuff I want to own. I love that design. Easy B tier for me. Might even be higher if there was more white than black, because having more black makes it look more like stock. But white and black is a nice finish. I can't complain. Then we have the Galila AR Tuxedo, which this is a bad fact new, so I guess that's why it scratched so much. If it scratched this much normally, just because it's an old skin, uh, I'll knock it down a tier from where I'm about to put it. But it looks clean. I can't complain. I'm going to put it at the top of B tier. If it comes this scratch, though, like uh, as you can see in game, I'm going to knock it down to top of B tier, but it still looks kind of clean. Black and white just looks nice. Uh, even when it's put in like a mediocre pattern like this, it still looks nice. Next up, we have the Desert Eagle Meteorite, which almost looks like the Army Sheen, which is a bad thing. The Army Sheen looks bad. This almost looks that bad. Uh, but it's saved by its overall mediocre design that isn't even recognizable as camo. And for that reason, it's slightly better than the Army camos, but not good. I would never say this thing's good. It's just better than the Army camos. So there you go. Or Army Sheens, sorry. But it still is better than the Army camos, so that still applies. But yeah. Worse than the Nova for sure. Uh, easy D tier. I would still use the silver stock though, so yeah, D tier. Then we have the AK-47 Emerald Prince Pinstripe, which unfortunately is mainly a stock AK. Half this weapon is a stock AK. And if you guys have seen any of these videos, you'll know I dislike the stock AK. I think the stock AK is the worst looking stock in the game. So making half of the skin the stock AK is bad. That being said though, the emerald pinstripe part looks cool as fuck. These almost look like kind of like neon signs. No matter what lighting you put them in, they're very, very noticeable. And they're kind of a cool design of, a, you know, green, green lime. I don't know what these designs are, but they're kind of cool looking. Um, I, this is still D tier because it's mainly used in stock, but I think it's the best D tier we've seen. And our final weapon, and the weapon this collection is kind of known for, is the P250 Franklin. <laughs> it's just a it's a P250 made out of money, baby. Yeah. <laughs> now, in all honesty, though, uh, money weapons can never really look bad. I, I would not mind owning this. And considering this ranges from a dollar to two dollars, I might even pick one up. It looks kind of nice. You can't really go wrong with a Franklin. They just look kind of good. I'm going to put it actually... Uh, I'll put it in top... I can't say it's better looking at Tuxedo. Put the Galil in A tier. And put this right behind it. I think it's a nice divider for the two different Tuxedos. Because this has so much more white that it ends up looking nicer. But yeah, that is it for the Bank Collection. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.